Welcome to episode 117. Today we're at a class at our McDonald's distribution center. Look, I brought Summer with me. Hey. Actually, she brought me with her. Yeah. She drove. So Not fast or anything. She drove really fast. She I was doing like 95 on the thruway. He's lying. Attention, police officers. No, I did not. Prove it. Okay, there's some McDonald's people that are also coming to this class that I don't want to be at, but let's move on through the day. Hello, how was your day today? My day was awful. I had a super awful meeting. It was super awful. Dad, don't sit there. And then I had to go back to work, and I had to fix all the broken stuff in my store, and there was a lot of it. But you're not a handyman. Well, I can fix things at McDonald's. Oh. Mm -hmm. And now here I am, and there's an orange car in my driveway. Oh, uh, who likes the color orange? Nobody. <laughs> Why is there an orange car in my driveway? <laughs> you're on vacation. I don't have to see you for a week. You love me! Why do your children make me watch this horrible Yeah, crap? what is this Logan Paul crap? Logan Paul. I don't like Logan Paul either. It's so annoying. His dog's I think I name is Carl. Brain cells. His dog's name is Carl. Carl. Oh, it's Carl. It's Carl. It's Carl? I don't know like if you're on this. You can't swear. Yeah, you can. Yeah, he can. He swore a lot. Back and forth. I should talk to shit on a plan of two. And he still hit my phone last night. It was for a kid. I am so confident that Travis is going to strike out that I can actually stand out here and record. Landon, that was awful. That was an abysmal play. You need to get it together. Get it together. It's time for Travis's Bergie string of awful jokes of the day. Go. <laughs> Joke. Go ahead, tell me all your awful jokes. jokes. What, what, did the, what did the elephant say to the little naked man? I don't know, what did the elephant say to the little naked That's man? That's real cute, but how do you breathe out of that? Oh! Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Who fixes a mystery machine when it breaks down? Who? Scooby Doo! <laughs> Roro! We got a flat tire! Oh no, we have a flat tire! That's from Geico. What was the next one? No. Ham. Oh. The ham. <laughs> what a fat hungry girl saying the pink. I don't know what. The ham. Welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios and another Bergy Blender Top 5 at Disney World. Today we're doing the top five rides, fast pass or not, doesn't matter what kind of ride it is, at Disney Hollywood Studios. And again, these are base based 100% on my perceptions of the ride. So yours may differ, and that's okay too, although mine are more right. Number five. Are you sure this is the right way? Number five. Star Tours, the adventure continues. This ride is a simulated based ride where you jump on like a Millennium Falcon or something. I don't really know because I'm not a Star Wars guy. And you drift through the galaxy defending your land from the Death Star, or Darth Vader, or Luke Skywalker. I don't know. But it's an action packed fun ride even if you don't like Star Wars. Star Wars theme, huh? Yeah, Landon found it. Number four. Number 
you've got a friend in me. Road looks dark ahead and you're miles and miles from your nice warm bed. Who doesn't love little Randy Newman? He did all the music for Toy Story. And number four is Toy Story Midway Mania, which is a fantastic ride. It's like a game thing, much like Space Ranger Spin over at the Magic Kingdom. And it's a very colorful, energetic ride and also typically has the longest line in Hollywood Studios. So if you want to ride this, my recommendation, fast pass it. Oh, and remember, you've got a friend in me. I've got him too. Aerosmith's Rockin' Roller Coaster is number three on our list. Why? Because it features great music and a super fast start of a roller coaster. That's why it's number three. Who doesn't love Aerosmith? Who doesn't love Steven Tyler? The man's got the most beautiful lips in the business, and you get to see them on this ride. Let's move on to number two. You are about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. Beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. Our special effects are horrible here on the Burgie Blender. But number two, if you haven't guessed it already, is the Hollywood Tower of Terror. The Twilight Zone, Hollywood Tower of Terror. Ooh, creepy. So this ride takes you up to the top of the Hollywood Tower, opens the window, you get a look out on Hollywood Studios and the rest of Disney World, and then it plummets you down and you get to see ghosts. Ghosts are scary. Number one. Places, everyone. Pass. Action. When I'm gone, when I'm gone, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. You're gonna miss me by my hair, you're gonna miss me everywhere. Oh, you're gonna miss me when I'm gone. What's gone, you ask? The Great Movie Ride, which is also number one. The number one ride at Disney's Hollywood Studios is gone forever, ever, as of yesterday, to be replaced by some dumb Mickey two and a half D ride. What is two and a half D? Nobody even knows what two and a half D is. Disney World. I love your pineapple Dole Whip. I love your Soren. I love that Mickey talks in that building now, the theater. I love that you have buses that take me to all the parks. I love that you fill me with hours and hours of joy. I don't love that you took away the great movie ride and this is the worst thing you've ever done. Thank you for watching today's top five countdown. We'll be back tomorrow with the top five rides in Animal Kingdom. <laughs> it's time for another Disney edition of the Landon Bergie. No, because it's why was, why was um, Captain Hook expelled? I don't know. No, why I was, what? Suspended. Why was Captain Hook suspended? Yeah. Because he was playing hooky. <laughs> I'm hilarious. I'll be here all night. Thanks, dude.
It's morning. I forgot to end the vlog last night. So, until today, Blender Blades, hit the puree button, keep on blending, cam drop.